So you're looking at the world's first stackable and most affordable airmail box ever created. So you can see here, it's all made out of a heavy duty plastic. Uh, everything is thicker than like a Lowe's five gallon bucket. Uh, the minimum thickness is like 90 mils and it goes way up over 100 mils in some places. Uh, the top is uh, reinforced. It's at least a half inch thick and you have uh, four rubber strips that uh, allow the air mold box to grip well on a hard flat surface. So you're, here's the bottom side, here's the top side. You can see that they are easily stackable. And they are the exact height and slope of regulation cornhole boards. It's a, uh, this is about 14 inches wide and uh, 16 and a half inches long. So it has a, a wide base. Uh, they're pretty uh, stable on hard flat surfaces, but you can see we also have uh, holes on each corner of the box. It allows you to place it in the yard if you like, and you can put a garden stake to further secure it if you play in the yard. But uh, if you pl place it on a hard flat surface, the rubber grip, like I'm pushing on it pretty good, the rubber grips will grip the ground really well. Uh, so it will hardly move. So in the link below, uh, you can purchase these. Uh, you can get two air metal boxes for just under $60. And that includes free shipping anywhere in the U US. Uh, so international shipping is a little bit more but if you compare it to the uh, wooden airmail boxes that are currently on the marketplace i believe that the for just one airmail box the lowest cost with shipping in the u.s was like 80 dollars, and that's for an unfinished not painted uh wooden airmail box so if you wanted a complete wooden airmail box set so two units it's going to cost you at least 150 dollars. so this is the first airmail box in the marketplace that um significantly undercuts anything else that's been on the like in the marketplace for the past several years so uh, you can get two airmail boxes for just under 60 bucks they're stackable so if you want to take them to the beach or throw them in the back of the car uh, this is a whole lot more convenient than um, taking your cornhole boards and it's a lot more challenging um, I'm not gonna say uh, don't like these won't replace your cornhole boards but it's definitely more of a challenge a lot more fun especially when you are uh you don't have much room in your vehicle for cornhole boards you can just throw these in the back uh, if you flip it upside down your cornhole bags you could throw your bag of cornhole bags right in here and this is about as much room as it takes up it's about a little bit more than a square foot of room that i would take up so significantly less room um than cornhole boards. So they got these spacer tabs on it so that when you stack them, they don't get locked together. And um, uh, they're a nice bright yellow color so that they stand out, you can see. And uh, we'll have to tell you how to set it up. There's two different ways you can set it up um, so that you can make sure that they are the proper distance apart. I'll post that in the link below. I think we're going to put make that as part of another vi video. If not, it might be at the end of this video. Um, so click on the link so that you can know how to set them up. And uh, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. Or you can always uh, email us at contact at cornholeace.com. All right, I hope you all enjoy. Thanks, bye. So as you can see, the uh, cornhole airmail box is the exact same height and slope as regulation cornhole boards so you can see here